Hello, this is Dr. Desmond Wayne, uh, gastroenterologist and pathologist again. Today I want to talk about alpha filter protein part 2. Uh, I think we talk about what is the wrong way of doing using AFP. Uh, for alpha filter protein, we do not recommend the general public to use it as a screening tool when they have no symptom. Uh, the AASLD, the ESO, that means the American Association of Study of Liver Disease and the European Association of Study of Liver, they have Guideline. They say that we use AFP as part of a screening process for those with high risk of liver cancer, such as those with hepatitis B, hepatitis uh, 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 C with, with fibrosis, or with cirrhosis of, of any cause. When they have a risk factor of liver cancer, we can use AFP, which is a cancer marker for liver cancer, to, to survey, to, to screen, and to pick up if they have any early cancer. So I can share one example of how we use it. I have this patient who is about uh, in the mid 40s, a lady with uh, hepatitis B. So she sees me on a regular basis. Every time she comes, I told her the same thing. I think you have hepatitis B, there's a small risk of liver cancer, roughly 0.5% a year. 0.5% a year is a low risk, but it's more than zero. It's not, uh, uh, it's not zero. So we say every six months, come for a blood test and ultrasound sun scan. So she'll be coming in on a regular basis diligently. Then one time, due to COVID, she didn't come because, you know, COVID, very scared. People scared to go out, people scared to come to the hospital, fair enough. And we missed one of the blood tests. So about one year later, that means, uh, you know, she come every six months. She's able to come this particular six months, she didn't come because of fear of COVID. And about another six months later, she went to see her local doctor and do a health screening. Her alpha fetal protein, the ARP, went up from a normal to be less than 10 most of the time to suddenly shoot up to 570 plus 570 plus is very high compared to a normal range of up to 8 to 10. so i told her well uh, your mark you have a risk of liver cancer because you got hepatitis b and your afp suddenly shoot up i think you may have a liver cancer let's do an mri indeed mri show a 4 cm centimeter of liver cancer uh, it is still small it's resectable she went for surgery she recovered and that happened, what, three years ago? And by now she's still okay. The cancer has not come back, I hope never. So far she's doing very well. Now, so we use the AFP for people like that, happy carrier. We survey them every six months. So if you suddenly jump, we also jump and we'll say better do an MI to look for any liver cancer. After the surgery, her AFP dropped back from 575 back down to less than five. And every six months she still come and every six months you come, I'll do an ultrasound scan, I do an alpha fetal protein to look for any new cancer. So far, so good. Last three years, she's cancer free, she's cured. Uh, we know that if the cancer is less than five centimeter uh, after surgery, the chance of cure is very high. Uh, so for her, she did very well. So this is how we use alpha fetal protein in high risk people to pick up cancer. When they're high, we will go, go in to do an, a scan to make sure that they got no cancer. And after treatment, the cancer marker ARP will drop back to normal. And we can use it as a continuous tool to see whether the cancer has a chance of coming back. So uh, since the incident, this lady of mine, uh, she always come with a follow-up. She, I think she learned the lesson that even if the previous tests are normal, there's no guarantee that in future ARP will remain normal and cancer won't come. 0.5% risk of cancer a year is low, but it's more than zero. So the uh, so she's doing well so far, and this is how we use cancer marker. So to sum up, we use uh, alpha fetal protein mainly in people at risk of liver cancer. We use it to see if they respond to treatment. Um, we use it to see whether the cancer come back after treatment. And this is the same principle that we use for other tumor marker that I'll talk about in future episodes. This is Dr. Desmond White. Thank you for listening and watching.